Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to disable the spec or how to disable the suit, test suit. Let's try to see in this video. So normally you will be getting it doubt that why we need to disable the spec. So here right now, if you try to see these are, this is the spec file. So what we have created, this is the spec file, right? So what is the problem here? Let's try to open the spec file. Yeah, this is the spec file what we have created and now this spec file when we try to execute this one so we will be able to execute all the specs now we there will be a situation in such a way that so we need to disable this we don't want this spec to be executed so in that scenario so what we will do so one one step one method what we can do is we can remove this spec alt completely and we can execute it so that the spec will not be there so fine that is that way is fine but what we need to do but what we need to have is we need to the code should be present but the but the spec should be disabled without executing so another method what we can do is we can comment out this one okay we can comment on this one using something like uh, comment the comments will be available right we can do it like this but in jasmine so we have an another option that so we can also disable the spec or otherwise we can also disable the suit also so that all the specs that all the specs that are present in that suit will be disabled. So let's try to see how we can do this one in the Jasmine. So now if I try to, if I show, if I share you the slideshow. So now we are trying to learn about the disabled specs and the disabled suits. So now our specs and suits are ready. Let's see how we can disable the specs or suits. Let's try to learn before that what is a disabled spec. So what is this disabled spec actually? Disabled spec is a spec that means it is also a spec but that will report as pending and will not be executed so what it will try to tell is so that spec is in the pending so if you comment out that one so you that spec will not be visible whereas if you make the spec is disabled so that we that will tell you that that spec is pending still it is in the pending mode and it will not get executed so if anything problem is there also it will not be getting executed even the expectations are false in the disabled spec. So even the expectations means what we have written the previously we have learned, right? Expectations. Even the expectations, at least one of the expectation also is false also in the disabled spec. It will show as pending and not as a failed spec. So it will still show as a pending spec only. Not uh, It will not show it as a failed spec. So even at least one of the expectation is also failed. If it is a disabled spec means it will show it as a pending only. It will not show it as a failed spec. So this is also one of the important thing you need to remember. When we write the disabled spec, there will be two cases. So when we write this disabled spec, so now you may be getting a doubt that. So what are, what I have told you the methods. So here I can comment out this one or I can remove it. This one we have to write. So commenting out or removing it is one and the same only. Now if you try to see here that spec will not be visible, but we know that we want that spec to be visible, but it should tell you that that the spec is still in the pending or in the development mode or something like that. It need to tell you so that you can by seeing that spec you will be able to understand that okay that spec still needs to be uh, uh, done so the still work is going on so you can think of like that so that is a benefit of disabled spec now if you go here <coughs> so now you need to understand that when we write this disabled spec so we will be writing all the specs and all the suits we are writing so where when when are the cases we need to write this disabled spec so normally there will be two cases we will be writing this disabled spec one thing is when you have changes in the code so that means when you are trying to make the changes in the code and you want to disable the spec from failing so now you are making the changes in the code and your spec will be going on telling you that fail 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 test cases will be going on waiting fail why because you are still making changes in the code and for the time being you want to disable those specs and after completing all those changes in your code after the changes is completed then you can re-enable back that spec so that that specs will be re-executed again so temporarily if you want to disable the codes for making changes in the uh, specs for making changes in the code you can use this disabled spec and another one is the TDD as you are already aware of this one TDD test driven development what is this test driven development you write the test first and after that you write the code and makes the test pass so here also you will be writing you will write the test first so you will see you will see that the codes will be failing and you make it as a disable one by one one by one test you will you will enable it and you will make the you will write the code according to that uh, making the test pass like that you will be doing so this is a tdd approach so in the tdd approach and also in the 
when you are making the changes in the code you will be using this disable specs so now when we disable the suit so when we disable the suit is so in way if you if the suit consists of all the specs if you want those all the specs within the disabled suit so if you want to disable those means you will disable the entire suit so that all the specs will be disabled so now uh, disabled means it will be marked as a pending and will not be executed so this uh, disabling the suit means if you want all the specs that are present in the suit want to disable means instead of disabling one by one you can disable directly the suit so that all the specs present in the suit will be dis disabled so this is how we will be disabling the specs and the suit so let's try to see in the practical implementation now if i go through the code so this is the test suit that we have written for the calculator and we are having four specs so four specs now first i want to disable this should add number to the total for the for, for the time being i want to mark it as pending so what is that i can do is just you can add x before this it so x if you if you add x before this e it spec before the spec then this test case will be marked as pending now if you try to see here see now you can remove this random orders yeah see should add number to the total see pending with a message temporarily disabled with xit so now you are able to see the spec here and also it is showing you that it is temporarily disabled so it is, it is not executed even though the expectation is uh, failing here so for example if you are having eight or something like that even though expectation is failing so nothing will happen here the thing will run normally so it, the spec will not be executed if you click here the spec will not be executed here so this is the benefit of this one and another one what i can do is so if i want to disable all the specs in this one so if i want to disable all the specs means what i can do i can add x x and x like this so that these four specs what are present in this suit will be disabled automatically if i try to see now here you will be able to see that should add number pending with the message so all are temporarily disabled with the x it is trying to show it so this is how we will be disabling the spec right now we are having only four specs so for that reason for these four four specs we have added the x but tomorrow for example let's say that the test suit is consists of 100 specs then what is the reason so you will you go on uh, adding the text like that for the 100 specs so that will be a waste of time right so in this type of scenarios what we will try to do is instead of disabling the each spec we will disable the test suit directly so if you disable this test suit automatically that specs that are present in this suit will be disabled automatically so if now for disabling this suit what i need to do just i need to add the x here that's it now if you add the x here to this suit now if you try to see here See everything is disabled so now you are not able to see that temporarily disabled like that so when you disable that suit instead of spec so you will not see able to see the message but here it is you will be able to see that all are not executing so those all are in the disabled mode so this is how we will be disabling the suit and also we will be disabling the spec so now for example that entire test suit is disabled now i want now again if the spec is disabled means what will happen nothing will happen so now if you the suit is disabled means so now if you add the x to the specs also nothing will happen so here see it will show you like this so that is not a problem so everything if you disable the spec is also one and the same and if you disable the each spec also one and the same nothing will happen like that okay hope you understood about this one disabling the specs and the disabling suits if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you